thought it was, but I am excited for this match coming up here. And it's like, it's interesting that the seeds we have in this, in this top eight, it's very diverse. It's not your first through eight seeds. There's been a lot of upsets. However, there's been consistency in the bracket that the eight players we have here in top eight are these same exact eight players from winner's quarters. Like everybody that went back to losers from that made it right back into top eight, didn't drop to anybody else. And also, this regional here in Southeast Michigan, there are no invaders. We kept them all out. We kept them all out. All out. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the snake on deck. We've got Falco. I love that he plays Cheetah Girl Snake. <laughs> yeah. There is no other, no. only <laughs> Cheetah Girl Snake. Three, two, one, PS2 start, good to go. We're going to see what they can do here. So, like, Title's like usage of his grenades in his last set was so, so good, but I feel like this is the time where it's gonna really challenge him, see how he can adapt because of that reflector is gonna like change so much of that gameplay from before. I, you know, I feel like it, for this, because I know that they play often, uh -huh. I feel like he's gonna try to be like more aggressive. And I know that he's very good with like controlling uh, Nikita. Yes. Yeah, I've gotten to play Title a couple times. He is so aggressive <laughs> for his snake, like. I'm so used to snakes being zoners, but he really doesn't mm -hmm. always, like he does when he has to, but I feel like he feels much more comfortable like really getting up in their faces and then just using yeah. like the zoner tools. Okay, if you've got that confidence, show it. Oh, there we go. There we go, <laughs> the kick. <laughs> <laughs> these characters, like you would never expect interaction like these between characters like this. Dipping really low. Looks like he was Ooh. considering using the grenade to recover. It's a little bit of a mishap there. Oh, okay, all right, Daybreak showing it. <laughs> I was gonna say, I don't really, I don't think Snake likes to recover low. No, <laughs> especially with Falco with that down air just looming over his head. Yeah, I, I don't even think they've had more than like half stage presence between them this entire game so far. Interesting opening up here with down tilts, getting oh, him off stage. Nice. Oh, that will seal it out too. And like you said, how like with aggressive he is though, he still uses a lot of grenades though, but he used them in ways to like open up his opponents even more for even harder punishes, not just like more like a camping snake like that. So right. it's really unique to see and cool like against like other characters you would also think like, I don't know, are a little bit more passive and such. Daybreak's got him on the ledge here. How can he punish? Gets him back up. However, this down tilt opening again. <laughs> I feel like he wasn't too comfortable with wanting to approach him. Yeah. Like, we all know Snake. <laughs> right, on the ledge, this could be huge. Gets out of the combo, though. However, some more damage being traded. Down tilt. Nair. You know, these cutscene combos aren't. I'm just. I want longer cutscenes. <laughs> oh. No, not yet. Almost. I hate when the game lies to oh. me. Oh! Double kick. <laughs> I feel like Tidal will reel back in his chair more than Daybreak did when he got the kill. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay, so like before uh, quarantine, I believe Daybreak was like number two on the PR. Mm -hmm. So like he's no, you don't scoff at any character Daybreak's gonna bring no, out. No, not at all. <laughs> Cause he has a very good understanding like of the game and like fundamentals. Mm -hmm. Not to say the title's no slash either. He was number seven oh, before coming here not, either. Yeah. But it's like, usually like, when you think about like the Michigan town, especially like, I don't know, when people talk about the regions outside of like your major results and stuff, Daybreak's name always comes up right away. People know he's good. And now seeing more of a different character, like like you said, during quarantine, a lot of people switched their mains or even just decided they have in their arsenal. So it just shows more skill that they can do this with more characters. I think it's just kind of fun to come back and kind of see some like more like diverse, mm -hmm. you know, people playing different characters. And it's kind of refreshing to see. Yeah. Oh, Daybreak starting off really strong, already racking him up Ooh. to 70, 90%. 90. Grab any further punish up air. How's he going to punish the landing? Anything? Oh, he's going up high. <laughs> he, ne he needed a break. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, Smash is going to sell even on this bigger stage, like. Like he's not going to do much okay. there, however. Oh, that's Ooh. like the second or third time he's gone for that, which I feel like he's so closing that forward smash. 
some of these grenades, I don't know how it doesn't trade. I'm like, <laughs> why doesn't it hurt her snake either sometimes? Like. Mm -hmm. Keeping him all safe does not have a jump right now. How is he going to punish this? Air dodge. Oh, back air, though. Nice. Three to one stocks, though, especially on a bigger stage. Like, you would traditionally think that, like, this would be a snake counter pick, though, but Daybreak, I don't know. Like, if I was title and I'm seeing that I'm losing this hard in this kind of stage, like, what would he kind of pick next if he loses this game? I'm kind of surprised that he hasn't tried doing the traditional snake wall. Mm hmm Because I feel like when snake is in dis disadvantage, you want to kind of keep them away a little yeah. bit. Rack up that percent, you know, use your projectiles. Really don't let them come in at you. Did he but really just try to two frame <laughs> with a C4 <laughs> off like, oh, but oh. it doesn't matter. Oh, man. Three stock hands are back. It's just like once Daybreak started, he mm -hmm. just never stopped. He was constantly on him, very like had an answer for almost everything, was really able to really stop uh, Tidal from starting much, mm -hmm. keeping him off stage. And it's interesting that like that, but from a big stage, because usually the bigger stage would like reset neutral more, but like he's somehow using the space more to his advantage in it sense and if I'm not mistaken I heard two of the sages he banned were Battlefield and Lila so he's getting rid of small sages I'm sure the other band was probably Yoshi's story in that case but we're back to another big stage and in this case with how the last game goes I like this for Daybreak all right town and city so with a higher ceiling, or at least like platforms a little bit closer to it though, I don't know, I'm actually afraid that we might see more Falco combos because you can use different platform heights now, but keeping him off the side, oh, title's going so hard. <laughs> he goes low, it makes me nervous. I know. <laughs> Good air dodges, he's being uh, very accurate with those. Jab just barely missing grenade. Still pretty even right now in terms of stage presence. This feels less intense and like less aggressive from both sides. Yeah. And I feel like they're both kind of like feeling out the stage, really figuring out, you know, what's gonna, what's it gonna be. I feel like game one title commanded it so well in terms of like choosing his options first rather than like figuring out what Daybreak's gonna do. But then after Daybreak answering with a three stock, it's like, I don't know, title seems a little less aggro than he was trying to be like the first two games. Almost like maybe that shook him a little bit. I don't know, but I'm confident he can bring it back. We're gonna have a great set here. How, I mean, He's got him up to 76. This is almost kill percent with the kind of moves that he throws out. He's barely missing the neutral there for a further combo. However, still gets a quick 33 on him. Dash attack almost leading the forwarder there. A couple of missed clicks here, however. Falling under the laser, trying to close the space. Yeah. <laughs> that was <Yeah>. an interaction. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of looks like it went through a little mm -hmm. bit. C4 there is just waiting there. Hacking right on top of it. If Daybreak's not careful, Title is looking out for it. Recovering high, trying to make it back to stage. Daybreak's just doing a really good job at kind of catching and really maneuvering yeah. around the projectiles. Going low again. Oh! Ooh. I think the downer broke the cipher there in that case. That's what it looked like, yeah. yeah. Canadian's hand. Oh, what a beautiful like opening there. Like he waited for the grand to explode, continued to combo off of that rather than just like relying on like, his own combo moves, which might have gotten broken by the grenade. All right, closing space further. However, he's, oh my gosh, he is getting so much control right now. Kind of see he's going to barely save him here, though. However, off stage again. Let's see how he uses his jump. It's there. Oh. No. Good tech. <laughs> Is he gonna get something here, maybe? I'd like oh. to see. Oh wait, no, oh, he didn't have a jump. Okay. I'd like to see other options by Title when Daybreak's off stage. Like I'm pretty sure it's like a near zero percent like accuracy in terms of like his Nikita and stuff because the reflector is gonna be dealing like oh. handling it so well. But he needs something else when he gets Daybreak off in game four. <laughs> and once again, covering, recovering low and getting caught. Unfortunate. Team hard at thought, wondering what the stage bands are going to be, what they're going to pick. Go 
going back to PS2. Kay. Yep, DSR is not on. Anybody can pick this, and it's where he won game one. Not PS2. FD. I like that. So okay. I was going to say, if I'm not mistaken, Title also plays DSS. I was wondering if we were going to see her, but um, yeah, we are. And no platforms. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, I have yet to see Title's Zero Suit, mm -hmm. so this will be new, new experience. He's already utilizing her speed really great. Like, it's it's refreshing to see that, like, He's not playing ZSS like Snake already, it feels like. Even like just so quick in the match, like he's using his speed now with faster run speed than Falco and stuff. Maybe this is the right play he needs to do. Right now it seems to be working out pretty good. Yeah. If he catches him at the ledge just once with that kind of thing, especially Falco's a little on the lighter side, so ZSS should be able to convert some early kills out of those kill moves. Lands easily. Isn't getting juggled as much. Not getting edge guarded. This is secondary oh, 101. I was <laughs> <laughs> gonna say also he can mix up when he's like when he goes high and he starts falling down. He does have the zero to a little mix up that you can mm -hmm. do in the air. I like the zoning here with the uh, with the Zara. It's doing so good right now. I think he's hit like almost all of them, and then he gets juggling situations without jumps, anything, and one rolling. Like if he keeps doing that, like Daybreak's gonna fall for it eventually. I feel like. I know he's he's holding on to his lead pretty well. Mm -hmm. Oh, but it's getting caught in the air. Why do I feel like his Zara is campier than a snake? Even though like those characters should be the complete opposite. <laughs> the opposite. <laughs> Sometimes it's with how people vibe with the characters. Mm -hmm. But I think that's like what's the cool thing is like sometimes people will play characters differently than normal and that can, you mm -hmm. know, really mess up your opponent. Yeah. I think what's going to be important here is if Title gets this though is if Daybreak can like adjust enough to it, not just a different character, but a different kind of like what Zero C he would usually be used to in this case. The range is like just perfect over top of like the reflector, Falco's normals. Like this range, rather than having to be a little bit up close to a snake, is just it's perfect right now for this matchup. Until that. <laughs> Daybreak bringing it back to I would say a pretty even game. Yeah. I'd say both characters have some pretty low percent kills too. So honestly, and uh, even now, like it's basically even. Anyone's point. game, yeah. Good pressure. Oh, oh that took the jump. Oh, no, it didn't take the jump. I thought it did. And that's keeping him safe. What's going to do here? He gets back on fine. Oh. And catches Done. that. Oh, I just barely missed another follow-up from that. They're still doing good space here. It's only a matter of time till it's close here. They're kind of dancing right yeah. now. Yeah. It's a dancing game. They're waiting for the first person to make the biggest mistake. Mm-hmm. Getting out with up B or with down B there. Still rolls away. And I feel like, I don't know. I feel like whenever I'm in like that situation against a character that keeps like rolling away, rolling away, I'm like, they have to roll it eventually, right? It's like, right. who's going to do that first? Oh, almost. Grab, throw, laser. Really? Ooh, big neutral air. No jump anyway in case he lived, but that's going to be it. And Daybreak's going to move on. Two top five along with Zenodo. Already top five? What a day.